Organic gardening is not a new concept. In fact, it can be traced back thousands of years to ancient Rome, though it's still considered experimental. Uh, some believe it's the future of gardening because it's economical, sustainable, and environmentally friendly, um, and a very good way to produce food. One of those believers is Dr. Gene uh, Giacomelli. Uh, he is the professor of agriculture and biosystems engineering at the University of Arizona. I was yes. just out there last week. You are there uh, teaching students about yes. biodiversity and about hydroponics. Hydroponic crop reduction. Hydroponics is growing plants without yeah. soil. Uh -huh. And when you combine them with controlled environments, you can grow crops and food anywhere in the world, wherever people go, whether it's the deserts of the southwest, right. like you saw, or the extreme cold of Antarctica. So how many uh, hydroponic farms are there in Arizona, which I guess would be an ideal place to grow? Arizona has over 300 acres of hydroponic crop really? production for tomatoes. Tomatoes Texas alone. is the next big grower. So only the roots are in water. That's right. Only yeah. the roots the are in water. The plants are... Um, you provide the nutrients in the water mm -hmm. and oxygen, and then the plants grow very efficiently. We can uh, essentially make a tomato taste sweeter or more acidic on, on how it's grown. By the food. By, by the way it's fed, uh -huh. yes. And you can grow them year round. Uh, we're growing commercially everywhere on the earth now. Why don't we plan when we go to the moon and Mars to bring our food systems with us? We right. have to eat. Hydroponics will be key to doing that. So we have a great green, um, video of the greenhouse that's gonna go to the moon. NASA helps open the world of green to sustain space travel. Through this work, we can grow in our own kitchens and grow chambers like the Phototron. The roots of CEAC's work are here, growing wonderful tomatoes and other crops using science and technology developed by the University of Arizona, sustained by the National Science Foundation and used by companies like Phototron and in state-of-the-art Gates facilities worldwide. This technology gives us fresh air, cleans our water, provides food in a direct relation to the biological world. Our advanced agriculture grows food in the dark winter at the South Pole Station Greenhouse. The same technology used at the South Pole and at the Lunar Greenhouse is used in the Phototron. In space or in kitchens around the planet, our life is greener because of what we do. CEAC at the University of Arizona and Phototron. Oh, no, you can so grow great. anything. You can grow almost anything, although it can be difficult for big well, crops. Well, certain crops are better, like tomatoes, cucumbers, oh, lettuces. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, any of the greens. Yeah. Any of the greens are, are fast growing. Fast growing, straightforward, right. and, and a, cabbages, lot, a lot of fun. Cabbages or better and leafy Cabbages, leafy, like leafy, like leafy green. Kale. Yeah, it takes your kale. It okay. takes a long time to form that head. Right. You know, we, we don't want to wait for that. But right. uh, we even grew uh, cantaloupe at the South Pole. Hmm. First Fantastic. one Fantastic. So ever. has NASA been supportive of your lunar expedition? NASA has been very supportive. Experimentation. Because they know we're going to have to bring some of this technology to other plants. Are you and taking they it provide us, oh, they, they provided us with a, a relatively large grant, a Steckler grant, and it's oh. being supported through the University of Arizona Space Grant Consortium. Oh, great. And we will demonstrate feeding people, generating oxygen. The CO2 from the plants goes, uh, oh, yeah. provides oxygen and fresh water comes from the plants. Mm. So it is a bioregenerative life support system. Uh, this very interesting greenhouse called a phototron. So wh why is it called a phototron? Well, it has lights. That's, yeah. the, that's the main thing to have the plant grow. But basically, think of it as a lunar greenhouse for your home. You can bring this into your home and grow a tomato. These are cherry tomatoes. Can we lift this up and take a look? Yeah. Cherry tomatoes in here. But you mm. could also grow lettuce. Wow. Six or seven plants in 30 days, you could then um, have uh, replanting and grow year round because you have the warm temperatures in the house and the lights provide the energy for the plant to grow. It replaces the sun. Right. How long do the lights stay on during the day? The lights can stay on anywhere from oh. 12 to 16 hours, your, depending on what you're growing. Yeah, so it's right, tomatoes. How long would you have to keep the lights on? I would do it no more than 16 hours. Uh -huh. Yeah, they don't like much. They have to sleep a little bit, yeah, just like do, us. Yeah, you know? of course. But the, the, the Phototron yeah, can, is, is essentially a device you can bring into your home and have fresh vegetables, 
know where they've come from, and that's the beauty of it, is that you can walk away from it and it's automatically water. -soluble. And you can be growing in water hydroponically, and it's really, really interesting. Now, just keep snipping off the leaves as you need them? Well, you, yeah, you can, eat, you can eat them as you go, uh -huh. certainly, or you can let them form ahead and then, and then can harvest you, can them. Can you start once. seeds like that, or do you have to have the plants started in well, the flat? Well, I just thought it was easier to go to your garden center, yeah. favorite one, and buy a transplant. Of okay. course, if you'd like to do the cell pack and yeah. put your favorite seeds so you get the exact variety that you right. want, then certainly you could do that. Okay. And after a few weeks, you have a transplant, and away you go. How fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Gene. And this is a great project, and it's great for uh, school children. They can really uh, enjoy what they grow. And uh, most exciting is your lunar project. Yes. Good luck with that. And thank I'd you love very much. to see lettuce on the moon. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you very much.